What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of uh, Transform My Life. You know, again, I'm with a young man here. I don't even know his name. I just met him right now, like 30 seconds ago. And we're gonna show you just how we transform lives one person at a time. So again, we're gonna start. Everything is kind of, I don't wanna say his name. He don't have to talk about anything that he don't wanna talk about, but I'm gonna transform his life right now. What's up, sir? How you feeling? All right. Excellent, excellent. Well, I first wanna start out by just asking you, what's the biggest challenge in your life right now that's pressing you? The biggest problem that's on you right now in life? Money. Money. <laughs> and that's a biggie, and I can totally relate, and I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. Let's talk about money for a little bit. Money, the truth is, people put too much emphasis on money. Money is nothing but paper, right? And we go into cryptocurrency, so it's changing, but the truth is, money is paper. Let me tell you about money. Money is attracted to preparation. See, money is attracted to preparation. So the better you're prepared, the better you're in position for success, you attract that money. You know why? Because you're the value. Money's not the value. Money's attracted to value. So when you prepare yourself to be in position, when you add value to your life, that's when you attract the money. So rather than wrecking your mind, chasing the money, there was a rapper that said, once you start chasing the money, that's when the money start running. So rather than starting to chase money, chase value add value to your life and then this will happen this is the magic happens and then the money chases you you feel me so it's not the money it's you so add more value to yourself and you'll attract more money let's go a little deeper have you in your life had a lot of experiences where things just kind of fell in your lap where you didn't really have to go too hard to accomplish something kind of just worked out for you i had blessings People giving me stuff, uh, actually food, actually, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Uh, my mom cooks for me. Uh, uh, you know, I get things coming at me most of the time. Are you the uh, only uh, child? Uh, 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 actually, uh, you know, the Christmas gifts. <laughs> we all love Birthday those. gifts, you right, know what right. I'm saying? You know, uh, which one for your birthday? Oh, shit, yeah, uh, let me get a car, uh, a shirt, a jacket. <laughs> You Are know? you the only child? Oh, I got a brother and I got a sister. Are you the youngest? Youngest. You're the youngest. Okay, the reason I asked you that is before the point I'm about to make. See, what I'm feeling from you now is I feel you're a great man. I feel like for, for your whole life, people have been telling you how great you were and your potential. But one thing I feel also, I feel like you've been, you've been allowed to get some things without really having to go all out for a lot of those things. Am I kind of accurate a little bit? No. Not, not not accurate. So let me ask you this. Sh tell me something that you really had to dig deep and go hard to accomplish. Uh, actually, uh, I guess a job, uh, you know, going to school and, you know, you know, basically, basically money, trying to get a job and, you know, trying to survive. So basically, this is what I'm trying to say. This is what I'm trying to say. I think you're a great man. I think you got a load of potential. And I think you've been hearing that a lot in your life. But I think that as we go higher in levels, it requires a new version of us. So I think what used to be getting you stuff in life, those Christmas gifts that we like, all those, your mom cooking for you, this and that, it comes a time in life where we gotta step up a little more on our gristle game, on our aggression game, on our dedication, on our commitment game, on our discipline game. And my brother, I think the world is challenging you with that right now. I think the world is challenging you. Now, here go to, here got to build out a question. Am I the only one that says something like that to you in your life? I my, my, my dad. <laughs> ah, there it is. See, I can feel it. I can feel it. So what's happening is this. See, life don't just hold us accountable for what we do. Life holds us accountable for what we are supposed to do. So all that potential that people been telling you about your whole life, that you felt like, oh, I'm still good. I got the, I got the light eyes. I'm sharp. I can do my thing, right? See, eventually, you got to pay the piper for that. See, for whom much is given, much is required. So eventually, you got to pay for being 6'3", six, 6'4", six, being sharp, having them light eyes. I bet you the girls was coming in plentiful, right? So all of those things, you get to a point in life where you got to pay for that. And I'm not talking about the form of money. You got to pay in the form of sacrifices. You got to pay because God bless you with all those gifts. And I think right here in your life, I think you're at that place where God is demanding a little more of you because of all the gifts that you were given. Sound kind of fair? <laughs> You've heard that before, though. You said your dad been saying stuff like that. 
So here go the million dollar question. We about to be done because I told you it's going to be about five minutes. We're going to close it out. Are you willing to step up? Because here's the thing. Everything in life, when God want to raise us to another level, he sent us lessons, challenges. So most of the time we run from the challenge, but we don't realize that that challenge was sent so that we can go higher. So if you cheat the lesson, you also cheat the blessing. So the billion dollar question is, are you willing to go all in on the lesson so that you can get to the blessing? Of course, of course. That's 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 you know that's that's the next level that we that we that we have to that we have to challenge. Actually, you know what I'm saying the next level is another blessing that's coming. You know what I'm saying you know you get your blessings. I mean you out here grinding and all that, and you treat your people nicely. Like people give me money every day. You know um, I'm out here grinding every day. You know what I'm saying people give me money. So you're earning money. They're not just giving you money. You're grinding. You grinding. Right. Grind. You're earning Actually, money. I'm there it people is. People out here with their groceries. Put in their car, they give me a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. You know what I'm saying? Well, sometimes a man might come to me, yo, you got a couple dollars? Oh, here you go. You know what I mean? You give it, give back. So you out here serving, you out here helping people become <laughs> better. Hey, listen, don't tell you, I'm gonna give you your props, brother. I'm gonna give you your props. Listen, you out here serving, you out here helping people to simplify their life, you out here helping people's lives become easier. So you already in position for blessings. Yeah. You just gotta go that next step. You gotta take that next step because they go to think about life. Life matches your effort, so you gotta go first. So once you take that next step, life is gonna come and give you more money than you can ever imagine, my friend. So here's the last thing I'm gonna say to you, and I'm gonna open it up for any questions before we close out here on Transform My Life. So, so here's the thing, right? Life is already setting you up for success because life wants all of us to win. It just comes down to how well you handle that lesson determines the size of the blessing. So are you willing to get a little more uncomfortable so that you can ultimately get comfortable. Would you be willing to get more uncomfortable if the opportunity presented itself where it took a little more effort from you and you can get all the money you wanted? You don't gotta chase that money no more. The money's gonna be chasing you. It is. No doubt, without compromising your integrity, without selling your soul or any of that, but I'm saying if it's a good if it's the right thing, but it just caused you to put forth a little more effort, would you be willing to if do it? If it's good and it's positive, yeah. There it is, my man. Selling drugs? Oh no, we ain't talking oh, about no. none of that. No. We wanted we we add to some positive, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. Yeah, we add into people's lives. We ain't taking away from it. <laughs> so my question to you, Sharp Brother, do you feel better right now than you did when we first started this interview? Yes, yes. My I man, do. listen. Yes, I do. Yes, I, do. I, I appreciate you, brother. Listen, I feel better too. <laughs> so here, here's the thing, my brother. When they ask you, why are you how did you get that unspeakable joy? How are you feeling that way? How are you still holding your head high in the midst of you not being where you are financially? This is what you tell him, my brother. You tell him you've been touched by an angel, my friend. And you also can be touched by an angel, my friend. Just leave a message right here. We changing lives, my friend, one person at a time. Never forget, you were born to be great, my friend. So go out and be great, just like my brother here. That's right. And you know what it takes? The G-O-D. <laughs> there it is. Take care.